Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. The Old Testament reading for this coming Sunday, the first Sunday of Lent, is from Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 through 18, and I am reading from the King James Version. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clay the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went into the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship, and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father... And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them, together. And they came to the place where God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time, and said, By myself had I, have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and, not ha and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Here ends the reading. Well, that's interesting. Abraham is told that he will be blessed because he was willing to sacrifice his only son, as God had demanded. His only son? What about Ishmael, his firstborn, born not of his wife Sarah, but of the maidservant Hagar? Such an interesting read. Well, God finally gives Abraham and Sarah a son, and then he demands that Abraham use Isaac as a sacrificial lamb to God, not just dedicate Isaac's life to God, but an actual blood sacrifice. Abraham is full well going to do just that, but at the last minute, God stayed Abraham's knife-wielding hand. And a ram was provided by God, a ram, not a lamb, for the sacrifice instead of Isaac. There would be in time, though, also a blood sacrifice of an only son. But it would be God's only son, not Abraham's, that would eventually die on the cross as a sacrifice for our sins. Abraham and Sarah's only son, Isaac, would live to become a major patriarch, as the grandfather of the 12 tw tribes of Israel. His name burned into the hearts of so many descendants and many who were not descendants by birth. 
but all who are grafted into the family of God by faith in the sacrifice of the Lamb of God, who is Jesus the Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in this season of Lent, we recall the sacrifices of the many who have gone before us. We remember especially the sacrifice that made it possible for all people to become your sons and your daughters. We give you thanks, Lord, for in your mercy you sacrifice for us your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. <laughs>